I caught a monster in here. We got this. And what you're gonna have here, a little cave they can sliders. Lost her tail. My god, monster. Fred we rescued. He was our very first video ever with Okay. All right. All right. Charlie's enclosure. Whole reason for this video actually stemmed off of how good our TikTok is doing. So as we've talked about before, we kind of started up TikTok a few months ago, just kind of had some fun with it and things blew up, which is amazing. We have had tremendous support over there. I thank all of you. If any of you have come over here, thank you so much. It means the world to us. It's opened up a few things for us. It's also opened up some doors for people to reach out that need some animals rescued, which is really cool. So this video is about two turtles we get to rescue tomorrow, which I'm really excited about. I heard they're kind of in bad shape. They were rescued, they were kind of rescued once and now we're gonna be rescuing them again um, they're red eared sliders and they're in some rough shape I heard one of them might be even missing in the tail uh, the shell might not be so good on the other one so they need a lot of love and care and that's what we're gonna do we're gonna be setting up a temporary bin for them right here and I love showing you guys these setups to show you can do it without spending a ton of money but in doing so we're actually breaking down Groot's tank we're gonna be moving Groot over to a bigger spot for right now we are building guys another huge pond here Huge, kind of, it's gonna be about the same size as the koi. So it'll be about the same size as the koi, so about 400 gallons. The reason being is it's gonna be our new rescue pond. The Oscars that we rescued that had the hole in the head, they're gonna get their own side. Uh, Groot is gonna get his own section. And then these guys will eventually go into their own section as well. So got a lot going on today, a lot of moving parts. What we're gonna do is I'm getting all this stuff out right now. And we will be breaking this down. So we are saying goodbye to Groot's little tank, but all for good reason, so stay tuned. We got Groot's tank broken down and we have this all set up where we are going to be. 55 gallon bucket, you can grab this at Home Depot, it's literally like $20. Unbelievable, that's why we always say there's no reason why your turtles or fish or anything shouldn't have a large enough home, because it's very affordable. 20 bucks, we got this all set. So first thing we're gonna do, you know we love to use our cool filter sand, we pretty much do it in almost all of our tanks now. Um, it's just a really clean look, I feel like it keeps the tank a lot cleaner, and turtles tend to love it, and again, with turtles, especially like your younger turtles, you don't want to use pebbles and stuff that they can uh, eat and inhale, because they will, and they will become impacted. So we are setting up our basking dock, and as you know, if you've seen our other videos, we do most of them DIY. It's a really affordable way, but it looks really natural. So we get all of our stuff from Home Depot. We get these pavers. I think these are literally like a dollar twenty or something. We get the whole set up for basically twelve to thirteen dollars. So you're gonna stack these however high you want. I'm probably gonna go four, and then we're gonna end it with this really cool thing. So it's gonna end up looking something like this. And what you're gonna have here is, you're gonna have a really cool little cave they can go under, and a nice spot for them to come out, get completely dried off, and you got your UVA, UVB right there. So again, these we get, the little clamp lights we get at Home Depot as well, I think it's like $8, $9. And then you get the full spectrum lights that you need. We'll put the link down uh, below. We get them on Amazon. It's pretty much the only place we get. They are the what kind? Mercury vapor bulbs. They have the UVA, UVB, and heat. They got it all in one. It's a great light. We get them on at Amazon, and we'll put the link down below. We are going to get some more fake plants, but for now, we got this one. Um, guys, especially with turtles that you get that are younger turtles, and these ones being injured, and we don't know how bad, we don't know how severe, you always want to have some resting spots for them in case they're swimming around and they get tired. Um, it's a good idea. So we have two of these left over. I don't know exactly how, but somewhere in here, we're just going to build, not build, but kind of stack some resting spots. So I'm not really sure how, maybe something like this. What do you think? That's not bad. And then they can just rest on those. So guys, really simple. Um, I'm going to put some water in here, get the filter running. And then the next thing you guys are going to see is pretty much the rescue. We are grabbing these guys tomorrow. I'm really excited. I'm nervous too, because I hear they're not in the greatest shape. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And at the end, you're going to get to see Groot's little temporary setup. I actually think it looks really cool. You might stay in there for a little while. And just for some support, we screwed just a little beam across from here because it is gonna bow out. Now guys, if you were going to use this for permanent, which you definitely can, you wanna make sure you do something probably more secure than this. For this, it's only gonna be a couple of weeks, so we don't really need to do too much. We also got our nice little canister filter set up. We got um, some, I put some Sylvania on here just because I like that. And we set up a little cave in the middle as well, so they have a couple of spots to kind of relax on. So. 
You guys ready to check out these awesome new rescues we got? And guys, I'm gonna warn you, they are much bigger than we thought. I thought these were babies, that's why we set up a 55 gallon, but check these guys out. Look at them, look at these two beautiful ladies. So these are both female red ear sliders. She rescued them from somebody else who was going to dump them in a pond, which is just crazy. But that's, guys, we've told you this. This is what happens to red ear sliders and unfortunately all sorts of uh, turtles and other pets all the time. People get them when they're small and think they're cute and they can't take care of them. So they have some issues with their shell. It almost looks like they might be starting metabolic bone disease. It doesn't look good. So we're gonna take great care of them. Guys, this is nowhere near big enough. We know that obviously. Number one, we didn't know the size of these turtles. I thought they were much smaller. But number two, we need to get them healthy before we put them in. So the girl who reached out to us had these ladies for a couple of months and did a great job trying to kind of make up for what had happened to them. But they came from somebody else who had them for a while who did not take care of them. So they never had the proper lighting. They didn't have the proper diet. This one lost her tail. We have no idea why or how it happened. Obviously it happened a while ago because it's all healed over. Um, her shell also has quite a bit of damage on here as well. So we're gonna do our best job to take care of these guys. They're gonna need names. Both these ladies need some names. So come up with something creative because this one doesn't have a tail. I'm gonna get the bigger one. Let me show you her because her shell too is uh, in rough shape. She likes to hide under here. Let me see if I can get her out. Look at how massive she is. Look at this, two hands. This is a full grown turtle. This turtle has gotta be well over 10 years old. Uh, you can just tell by the size of her, but very, very friendly turtles. Um, but you can see she has some pyramiding going on and some issues with her shell here as well. Very deformed and uh, losing some of the color. So again, they have not had the proper lighting or the size tank. They were in a 10 gallon tank. Like two turtles this large were in a 10 gallon tank. This is a 55 and it's not even nearly big enough. They need 200, 300 gallons. So that is why they'll end up going into the large pond. But Make sure you stay along for their journey. It's gonna be a long journey, but it's gonna be a great journey. We're gonna build this huge pond and put them in there. Gonna have a great life. TikTok is doing big things. We need the YouTube to do big things so we can get our sanctuary. We can save more of these awesome creatures. I want you guys to stay along for the journey. So let's get to our good vibe shout out. And we gotta pick a winner from last episode's gift card giveaway. I caught a monster in here. We got one of the large plecos. We're bringing them over to the koi fish pond. While we are doing that, the winner of the gift card giveaway was Shane Onkin, who commented the secret word, which was Oscar. So congratulations. Make sure, Shane, to reach out to one of our avenues and we will get you over that gift card. Let's get this monster over into the koi fish pond. Look at him. Absolutely beautiful creature. He is stuck. There he goes. He's gonna have plenty of algae over here. You know, you can't see it because the uh, water's moving, but because the sun hits it, all of the rocks over here have been collecting some algae, so he's gonna go to town over here. So I told you guys I wanted to show you Groot's little temporary spot here. There's Groot hanging over there. Really awesome setup. <laughs> Again, it's gonna be temporary, but I love how it came out. So this is the 70 gallon stock tank we've repurposed a couple of times. He is loving it in here, loving the extra space. I put sand on just half because he likes to bury himself sometimes. So he's gonna be in here, probably not for long, maybe just a couple of weeks uh, while we build that huge pond. We are just doing what we can with what we have. I mean, I'm, we try and show you all the time how you can do things affordably, but still give them a proper housing situation and you know, a proper life, really. So the little little tailless lady's gonna help me with the good vibe shout out. So this episode's good vibe shout out goes out to Jadrian Feliciano who said, love this channel, always watching and learning new things. Keep up the great work, Oscar. Thank you, Jadrian, appreciate the love. Obviously guys, we love all the support on here and TikTok, right? All that, we need all of that. We need to get you better. Guys, keep it up, please. Share the videos, comment, love, do whatever you can. As always, Billings fam, peace. Subscribe below, look at this guy. He won't get They always come over to us. We are walking to PetSmart. Very, very small fish. Excellent, guys. Fred is in great shape. Clovis, say hi. Is doing so much better underneath.